The fixtures are in and Walsall are starting with a home tie against Oldham on August the 8th. It's a flying start to the new season and that will be followed by three away games. We've got Forest and a Capital One Cup and then it's the long trip to South End and then a game against Rochdale before they return to the Bankses on August 22 against Coventry. Then there's a great tie if you're well, for Saddlers fans. The Bank Holiday weekend will be spent in Blackpool and against another recently relegated side. Um, so it's five games, five games in the first two weeks. We've already had some reaction from Dean Smith to say they need to make a flying start to the new campaign. Obviously the aim for this season is hopefully a playoff place promotion. That reaction is already on the Express and Star website. Looking at Christmas time, Boxing Day, it's a trip to Millwall. Not an ideal uh, trip for Saddlers fans, quite a long journey on Boxing Day, but it's against a recently relegated side, big fixture, so hopefully a bit of Christmas spirit will lead to a point or, or three there. Into the running now, on April 19, it's Swindon at the Bankses, then that's followed by Bradford away. The following game will be Fleetwood, and then the Walsall will close the season with an away fixture at Port Vale on May the 8th. Fingers crossed, though, that won't be the last game, and we'll have a couple of playoff games to look forward to.